Saturday the 11th of June I think and I thought I would just start a weekend vlog I was only going to vlog tomorrow because we are going to Comic Con but I decided to make it a, a two day vlog because I don't know how much footage I'll get at Comic Con tomorrow and also Brooke has got a friend going with her tomorrow and they decided that she would have a sleepover here tonight as well so yeah it's all going on but I have also had my beatbox delivered and I realised that I hadn't told you about it. Beatbox is from a company called Deborah Beats and it's not gifted or an ad or sponsored or anything. I pay with my own pennies but it's only £5 a month and you get a different box every month. And there's two types of boxes. You can get the kit that I get which basically comes with everything that you need plus instructions to make something. Or you can get another one that's like a theme of the month and it's like all colour related and things but until you actually know what you're doing with them that's not that much good to you so yeah it's the kit that I get so it came yesterday and I thought I would just show you I mean for a five or a month it's brilliant I've not even opened it yet so I don't know what it's like inside let's have a look together here we are I'm just hiding my dress there I'm just going to open it Right, let's have a look and see what we have this month. Oh, and like the colour. So it is lava and star bracelet and earrings. So we basically, it shows you there all of the things that you get with it. And then in here is step-by-step -step instructions. And they're really clear. I mean, I've managed to make every one so far. So if we look in the little box, it's always got some nice tissue paper. Sometimes it's got wee sweeties in it. When it was Easter, there was wee chocolate eggs in it. And there's all the bits that we need to make it. So I might try and make that today and then show you what it looks like. And I will try to remember to leave the link for the company in the description below, just in case you want to go and check it out. The customer service has been brilliant. One time she sent me the wrong kit by mistake. And I got in touch with her and said, there's no instructions. She went, oh, that's the other kit. And she said, yeah, my mistake. I've sent you the wrong kit. So she told me just to keep the one that I'd already got. And she sent me a, the proper one out, which is really nice of her. Because you don't pay any extra for postage. It's £5 a month and that's it. So I thought that was really kind of her. Her service is really good. She's just a very small business. And I like supporting small businesses. So yeah, if I... Um, Managed to get that done today. I'll come back to you and show you. There's the bracelet and the earrings. It took me about an hour, but I would say once I get my glasses, it'll be a lot quicker because I was struggling to see the wee holes. But I think they're nice. The only thing is the bracelet's quite small. It just fits me in no more and I've got very thin wrists. So I think it would suit a child probably more than an adult. But the, the earrings are dangly, so they're more for an adult, I would say. But yeah, nice wee set. You're such a suki big dog, Hugo. That's pathetic. Look at him. <laughs> Get the size in next to you. My elbow. Oh, good boy. Oh, I've got an itch. There's me, Molly. There's Clyde in there. So, you're heading in town soon to meet your friend. And then I'm there. There's my completed wreath. I think it's turned out quite nice. So I have used a clean toothbrush just to make sure there's not any debris in it and I have went over that. I usually use my brayer but I don't know where that is so I've just used this to roll over it to make sure everything's stuck down properly. Then I need to find either a frame to fit it or put it on a canvas or something, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I like the way it's turned out. Well, good afternoon. It is almost four o'clock and I am at the horse riding. I picked Brooke and a friend up from town and just brought them here. So they're away and um, Brooke's friend Mary Jane, I think her name is, she isn't going riding, she's just going to watch. 
and then the two of them are coming back to our house so that they can go to Comic Con tomorrow. This is the first time that I've met Mary Jane and she's lovely, but she's quite hyper. She has got ADHD, she was telling me, and I have to remind her to take her medication tomorrow. And if this is what she's like without her medication, I'll be reminded. <laughs> It's nice though to hear the kids laughing and being animated and things. It is really nice listening to it all. So yes, I think I'm in for a fun night. I'll just go to my bed and leave them to it. You know what it's like. And yeah, this, the two of them seem to be really looking forward to Comic Con tomorrow. I'm still winding Brooke up saying that I'm getting dressed up. <laughs> I'm not getting nothing to wear anyway, but yeah, it should be good. The drive in here was a bit of a nightmare. Some of you might know that there's a peace camp, a peace camp in Helensborough. It's a bunch of hippies basically making the place look an absolute state with their caravans and their spray paint and they're basically they're always campaigning against nuclear weapons. The camp has been there I think it's 40 years this weekend or something. It's like a big a big anniversary so there's police everywhere because there's hippies out protesting everywhere and it's just absolutely manic. You think, you know, the amount of police resources that that's taken up, the amount it must be costing, it's just ridiculous. It really is. I mean, I'm all for people having their um, opinions, but, you know, they get crazy sometimes and lie on roads, and it really is crazy. If anybody watched that programme, what was it? Oh, I can't remember what it was called. The, 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 was it Vigil? about the nuclear submarine and it was meant to be based at Faslane. Um, you would have seen that they had their version of the hippie camp and the hippies lying down hoping to get hit so that they can make a big thing of it and stuff. That's real. <laughs> that is real. Although the their dramatisation of it wasn't and it was in a different place, it does go on. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, I saw loads of police about, but I didn't see too many hippies, so that was good. There wasn't anybody trying to get run over. Um, but I was laughing to myself coming along there because I was listening to Elton John and it reminds me of, do you ever hear the wrong words in a song? And once you hear them, you can't unhear them. Um, I think Peter Kay did a big stand-up thing about it. And it's hilarious because you know that can't be the words, but because you've heard it, that's all you can hear. So I was listening to Elton John's sad song, Say So Much, and it reminded me of years ago when I first thought it said, um, oh, what is it? They reach into your room, oh, just feel their gentle touch, gentle touch. But I thought it was genitals. And if you listen to it, it sounds like it. They reach into your room, oh, just feel their genitals, genitals. Honestly, go and listen to that song now. Elton John's sad songs and try to listen to the proper words, which is gentle touch, but all you're hearing is genitals. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to tell you that because it really tickled my sense of humour when I remembered about it when I was singing along because I sang genitals. <laughs> I know I thought the words. Anyway, I'm getting a bit hyper. I think I'm taking it off the kids. It must be contagious. Right, so I'm just going to sit here while they're in horse riding and it's only half an hour so I'm going to sit and reply to some of your lovely comments and uh, yeah, listen to more Elton John, see what other silly lyrics I can think of. <laughs> Good morning. It is half past eight on Sunday and we're getting ready to go soon so I thought I would just come on and say hello. Um, the girls had a lovely time last night from what I could hear. They were high as kites, giggling and screaming and just being teenagers. Um, I had to tell them to quieten it down a bit about 11 o'clock. But other than that, they were good as gold. So they're all dressed. They're doing their face painting just now. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Brooke still thinks I'm going dressed up. So <laughs> I'm going to tell her my costumes in the car. Um, yeah, so the plan is we'll be taking Abby to work. Um, Abby's watched just five minutes from where we're going and she starts at half nine, so we might go to Costa or something just to get a wee drink to pass the time before it starts, it starts at 10. Uh, we don't want to go to McDonald's because none of us like McDonald's breakfast, so, so that'll be the plan probably. And then I don't know how long we'll be there, but I need to pick Abby back up from her work later on at back of four, so I'm hoping that we can just hang about somewhere rather than having to come back to go out again. We shall wait and see. But yeah, that's us. I'm 
just about organised. I've done all my morning routine and there's a Clyde right there. Clyde! Hello my boy. <laughs> Costa time! Yay! You looking forward to it Brooke? Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your face. Abby turned round her in the car and nearly died because she forgot that <laughs> she was all dressed up. So we've arrived at Loch Lomond Shores. I'm hoping the rain stays off. It's a bit overcast, um, but it looks like it's going to be busier than I thought, to be honest. Um, yeah, the girls are just at the loo, and then I've said that I'll go round it all once with them, and then I'll do my own thing and go back to the car, and they can spend as long as they want here. Um, because I like to see it, but I don't like to spend too long at it. Once I've seen it, I've seen it. <laughs> So yeah, I've brought my tablet with me so I can amuse myself while they're um, having a wander around. So let's see what we can see. It is quite chilly. I just saw Batman giving kids a wee high five because they went, Oh look, it's Batman! So Batman went up and gave them a high five. <laughs> Where's Chewbacca? And the Stormtrooper went. Oh. I think that's one. Let's go see. Whoop! Easy tiger, oh, oh. <laughs> you're horrible to me. Rick, gonna no do that. Gonna no do that. Oh, just gonna no. <laughs> you say let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said, well, I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna live Just keep trying and I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play I don't know about that in the mud Let's pack up a life, baby And call it a night Cause the longer we stay here The harder the fight I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Follow the spark Ain't nothing but a one way We won't regret this Let 
let's kiss the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about You will see us howling like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger than wanting what you might get I said hey, yeah, 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 call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said hey, yeah, 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 follow the spark Ain't nothing but a one way In our hearts I said hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Follow the spark Ain't nothing but past 11 and that's me back in the car as you can see it's a really disappointing comic con i knew it wouldn't be huge because um it's just like an outdoory place but i thought there would be more there's quite a few good stalls but there's hardly any people dressed up in cosplay and brooke's friend has never been to a comic con before so i think she's a wee bit disappointed and the rain keeps coming on and off so there's a sea life center here and they have stung my mum for money for tickets <laughs> so they're away into the sea life centre but to be honest i'm quite happy for them to do that because i would rather kill time here rather than spending petrol money going back home and then having to come back through for abby again it doesn't make sense so yes we'll see what happens i brought my tablet so i'm not going to be bored and i've got bits of editing and admin to do anyway so i am quite happy yeah, i don't know i might go back out later on if it gets busier and the sun comes out but hopefully they'll be able to waste an hour or so in the sea life center and we'll hear all about it later right so i'm gonna go and get on with the little bits and pieces that i need to do it's nice and warm in the car and i will catch up with you later on well how was it good what did you get was there more cosplay around when you came out? Yeah. Cool. I got a shot in the bungee jump, that's for sure. Oh, no way! Uh -huh. You always did that when you were wee! So, what did you just get? I'm trying not to get your face in. Oh, cool! Attracting, uh, that lanyard is so cool. And? Oh, okay. Did you not get anything with your tenor? The bungee jump. Was that it? Yeah, past this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you enjoy it anyway? Yeah. Wasn't as good as the Glasgow one, but it was good. I got a picture of Todoroki. You got a picture of who? Todoroki. It's the person from the same anime that I've cosplayed. Ah, okay. Got you. Right, so is it McDonald's time now? Yes. Okay. Food? <laughs> Food? Oh. Right, that is us at McDonald's. I've just let the girls go in themselves because they feel more grown up like that. I used to love going to McDonald's with my pals when I was younger. Um, and to be honest, I'm not hungry. I was going to just get a click and serve um, type thing. But when I thought about it, I thought, I'm actually not that hungry. So there's no point in eating junk when I'm trying to be good. But uh, yeah, so the girls are in there. They seem to have had a good time, even though it wasn't the biggest comic con ever and the weather wasn't great they've enjoyed it so that's what counts isn't it um I'm, i won't finish this vlog just now i'll wait until we get home i might get more out of brooke when um she's on her own but we shall see <laughs> <sighs> and breathe <laughs>
The girls enjoyed their McDonald's and I've just dropped them in town just now because they wanted to go for a wee wander and see if they could see any other friends and things. So that was fine. Um, I've just nipped to Morrison's just now because I've still got an hour to kill before I go for Abby so, and I'm needing a loo. So I thought I'll go into Morrison's, go to the loo, have a wee wander and then I'll just listen to my book again. I've actually had a nice wee day as well. Yes, we enjoyed our Costa and then it was nice having a wee wander around Comic Con even although it didn't last very long and it was a bit wet. And I've enjoyed just chilling out and listening to my book and playing my game. It's been good. Um, I would rather have been in my craft room but it's been good to see the girls enjoying themselves. It's nice, isn't it? Because they spent so much time being cooped up in the house during lockdown so um, it's nice to see them being able to get out and have fun um, and I think we have. They were begging me for another sleepover tonight and I was like no way, my head couldn't cope um, but it's a school night and I don't think they got much sleep last night so no. Um, I did say that she can come and have a sleepover another time, but not tonight. So that is what's happening just now. I think um, I'll probably just end this vlog here, actually, because I'm not doing anything else. Like I say, I'm nipping at the Morrisons and then picking Abby up and I'll be heading home for dinner and another early night. You know what I'm like? I'm such a lightweight. Oh, Granny Annie just um, messaged me to say that she really enjoys that gin, so she must have opened it. And that was the gin bothy gunshot flavour gin um, that she got. So I'm glad that she likes it. I thought that she would. It's her kind of flavours. So yeah, that is that. Right, so I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to me in the comments below. Remember to let me know if you've got any other uh, lyrics. I was laughing about that again earlier because it came back on in my playlist. <laughs> yes. To feel their gentle touch, remember, not genitals. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye. Thank you.